name is Aaron Chandler and you're watching Ko's Chai YouTube channel. The perfect place for theme park news, reviews and vlogs. After all, I've always got roller coasters running through my mind. <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Ball Bob Bill for Theme Park News and welcome to a very, very exciting video from the Alton Towers Resort. It's a Theme Park News update and we have the confirmation on the brand new attraction set to open in the spring 2020, rumoured to be the first day of the season, just like last year with the Alton Towers Dungeon. Uh, before we get started, Make sure you like, comment, subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Special shout outs go to Brian Galeas and Stubwood. Uh, but we have another shout out to come in this video, so that will be during the video, so stay tuned for who that is in a little bit. But, let's get into this news update then. So, this is from the Alton Towers Resort, and this is the confirmation of... Gangster Granny the Ride. Yes, it's been rumoured for a couple of years now. People saying it's going to be in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory's building. Then that, that got took over by the Alton Towers dungeon. We were hearing rumours that the David Williams deal fell through negotiations. But now it was back on and we knew the world of David Williams was happening in spring 2020. We knew there was going to be one main headline attraction, as well as a retheme of the whole Cloud Cuckoo Land area to support the headline attraction. I'm going to go on about the rethemes uh, in a little bit, and I'm going to sort of talk to you about my own personal opinions on this. Uh, but let's talk about the headline attraction. Now, special shout out goes to the Alton Towers team. Uh, I've been in contact with them this morning, and they're just so, such nice people. They, sh they share my excitement for this new ride and the whole new developments around 2020. Uh, now, originally, I did have a video planned uh, with a little teaser. There's something exciting in the pipe works for tw or pipelines for 2020, uh, which is like an Alton Tower security car outside the towers. Um, I did have that video planned. However, this announcement just came out uh, just before I was ready to edit that video, and I deleted it straight away, and I wanted to wait until today to film the official announcement of Gangster Granny the Ride as part of the world of David Williams. Um, so let's get on then with some details and a few concepts that I'm going to share with you on screen. So on screen for you now, found out Dorsey, that is the official concept art for Gangster Granny the Ride. Um, I'm going to talk more about what you can see in the concept image in a little bit. But to start off this video, I'm going to be sharing some information from the Alton Towers website about the ride and also about the other things in the area and also some extra new additions to go with the Gangster Granny theme. So climb aboard, into, climb into your royal carriage as Granny and Ben enlist your help to pull off the greatest jewel heist in history. Take a spin through a sewers on a 360 special effects Lard and Wild ride to break into the Crown Jewels vault. Uh, can you grab the jewels and make an explosive escape? Careful, if the feds catch you, you'll be in a right royal mess. Can you pull off the greatest jewel heist in history? Gangster Granny the Ride, opening spring 2020. So that's the official press release information from the Alton Towers Resort. Now the fun doesn't stop there, the whole area of the theme park will be transformed, inspired by the world of David Williams, as well as Gangster Granny the Ride, the themed area will feature a host of other rides and attractions where guests can pick up a crazy bargain in Roger's shop, I know a few people online have said they wanted a Roger's shop and they've got it, race on a regal thoroughbred on the Royal Carousel, so that will be a re-theme of the Gallopers Carousel, originally in Cloud Cuckoo Land. Giggle with delight on Raja's bouncy bottom burp. Now this is going to be a retheme um, of the Frog Hopper, which is an interesting movie. I'll get on about that in a little bit, along with other surprises and twists along the way. Now that isn't all. Stay and enjoy a fully immersive Gangster Granny overnight experience. Guests will be able to stay in uniquely themed rooms surrounded by the books, much loved characters, and hidden treasures. So you got. Gangster Granny Rooms and a hint for you save up to 20% booking online before the 31st of January so if you want to stay in the hotels and you want the, to get this bargain of a deal I would suggest booking a hotel room before January 31st so you can get that 20% off the link to the website where you can find the offer is in the description down below so make sure you go check that out 
But, wow. I mean, first of all, looking at the concept art, it is so clear to see uh, from the train design. Yes, there's a bit of track underneath it, but I believe, and from looking at the plans that were screenshotted uh, by, I think it was Towers Times when the video came out of the making of this ride, um, from the looks of it, it will be a trackless dark ride. Many people are saying Mac rides, uh, and that seems to be the hint. Uh, obviously, from the concept art, we know this car holds up to eight people per car. Um, and of course, the Mac uh, dart ride sort of car can hold up to eight people on the website as well. But it did say tracks, so maybe Alton Towers are using Mac to create an eight people per car trackless dart ride. Or it could be a track start ride. We still don't know confirmation at this stage. Uh, but it looks like it's very, not very certain, but it looks very likely that this could be manufactured by Mac Rides. I know Mac have had a brilliant, um, you know, partnership with Alton Towers in the past. Uh, we know they did Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the Mac Tow Family Boat Ride, uh, Dark Water Boat Ride. Um, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the ride of course used to be Toyland Tours. Uh, they did the elevators as well for the end of Charlie and the factory tour and things like that. So the, so the great gas elevator scene as well. So Mac have had a good relation with Alton Towers. And I feel like with Charlie being replaced by the Alton Towers dungeon and the boat ride staying in for that dungeon, I feel like Mac rides a decent partnership. I thought it was going to be um, the guys that are doing the new Lego Factory Adventure Dart ride at Legoland New York. Because um, the cars looked very similar, but uh, and or Ninjago at Lego uh, Legoland Windsor, the Lego Ninjago ride. I thought it was going to be that type of ride. However, that holds up to four people per car. So unless they're upgrading the capacity, it seems more likely this is going to be manufactured by Mac Rides. So you're sitting inside your own royal carriage and you're joining Granny and Ben on the heist. Now, I'm going to be personally admitting I love the David Williams books. I've read a few of them in the past. Uh, Gangster Granny, Mr. Stink, Billionaire Boy. You guys will know a mate of mine was actually in the TV film Billionaire Boy. A mate of mine. Shout out to Elliot if you're watching. Playing the main guy, Joe. Um, so, you know, I've got a bit of experience with the David Williams books. Um, translated into film, TV films for BBC, uh, and I've read the books as well. And they're such rapidly selling books. This is why this is such a perfect fit for Alton Towers. Uh, and I'm ho I really hope Alton Towers are watching this because honestly, guys, it's a great fit for the park. It's a great fit for your park, Alton Towers. Um, you know, because if you want to put another IP in, IP seems to be the popular thing around the theme parks recently in, in recent years. Uh, especially in the end of the, of the last decade um, and I feel like this is a great move because they want an IP that's family they want an IP that's popular that's something that's gonna last like the CBeebies land IP that's gonna last for a good number of years yet that's gonna be an everlasting IP that's why that was such a good move in 2014 in my personal opinion because it was interactive through play this however compared to CBeebies land IP this is more just joining the characters on a, on a on a fun hike. This is like Charlie the Chocolate Factory all over again. This is joining the characters. Uh, now, from the looks of it, we are expected to see 3D um, sort of um, pr like props, um, projections, and also special effects. So this is one of the most highly highly interactive dart rides Alton Towers has ever produced, and I am so excited to get out there. My plan is to get out there for the opening day. Opening day of the season, Saturday to March 21st. That is the plan. Um, unless plans drastically change. That it, I don't think it will drastically change. So I am looking to get out there for the opening day of the season. Uh, that is the rumour. The rumour is that this will be ready for the first day of the season. Like the Alton Towers Dungeon in 2019. It will be ready for the first day of the season. And I cannot wait for this one. Uh, now, like I said about the, the projections, projections is such a, um, a unique thing to go for. This is one of the, like I said, this is one of the most highly interactive dart rides that Alton Towers have ever produced. So, I think the idea of projections, or the, or the, the speculated information of projections, um, again, is a fantastic move. I think projections is a great move. Projections have been with Alton Towers though for a while. You've got to think back to Jewel, and you've got to think about the Emily projection in the queue line with his with, with her dog Snowy. 
um, and you look at the, it was like a projector that, that sort of projected an image in the house setting in the queue, like while you're going through like the indoor zigzag queue line as you're about to head into the ride station at Jewel. Um, so projections have been with Alton Towers right from the start, right from years ago. Um, you know, technically the great glass elevator scene in the old Charlie ride has projections all around uh, the thing because it's technically like a projector screen that's projecting this film as you're going up the elevator, this elevator simulator attraction. Um, so technically that's like a projector screen. In terms of actual true projections, you've got Jewel um, in the queue line. Um, I think it, this is, personally, in my personal opinion, this is going to be better than Jewel. Uh, and that is, obviously Jewel's got the gun, so this like a sh that's a shooting dart ride now. So that's in a completely different category now to the interactive dart ride of Gangster Granny of the Ride. But I think this is going to be better than Jewel because it's going to have the better technology, it's going to have the better effects, it's going to have the better, uh, just going through the story really. I know Jewel doesn't technically have a story now. You used to have that thing with the AT a ATTV News with the Richard O'Connor reporting. Then those screens got removed a couple of years ago. The old soundtrack got changed uh, with the new soundtrack and the pro sort of again the projection pictures. Uh, you know the the pictures going through the uh, the pictures creating a bit of a jump scare in the queue line. Uh, that was a big addition to Jewel. Uh, and again, that's just an idea of how they use projections to revitalise the dark rides inside the park. Um, but I feel like this is going to be better than Jewel because it, it just looks like this is going to be more special effective than, than Jewel, in my personal opinion. Yes, I know Jewel's more of a scary family dart ride, and and it's all about competing to try and shoot the most zombies. Um, and Gangster Grand is just joining these characters on this massive Jewel heist with special effects, 3D imagery, projections. Um, but overall, I don't want to compare it too much because I love the rides equally. Jewel is a good ride. Yes, people have said it's had its problems in the past uh, with trommels not working and things like that. But I still think Jewel is a decent dart ride, especially for the UK. Um, but this dart ride is going to be a fantastic addition to the UK. I think if it's trackless, this could be our family-friendly answer to Symbolica at F Telly. And you guys know how much I love the look of Symbolica. It's a huge bucket list dart ride for me over there in the Netherlands in Europe. Um, so overall then, just to sum up my thoughts, I think this is a fantastic addition to Alton Towers Resort. Alton Towers, you've done such an amazing job with this. I cannot wait to get out there for the opening day to try this out. Uh, if it is going to open on the opening day, that is the rumour still. Um, it did say spring 2020 for definite, but the rumour is the first day of the season is going to open. So if it is going to open for the first day of the season, I cannot wait. Um, and I can't wait to vlog the review for you guys. I mean, uh, this is going to be an absolutely fantastic uh, ride experience. Obviously, you've got the other things as well. Roger's shop, that's going to be nice, de detailed and nicely themed. Um, Roger's bouncy bottom burp, I think that is, uh, which is the retheme of Frog Hopper. I'd be interested to see how that looks like. Uh, maybe it's going to have those David Williams book colours. Uh, and sort of artistic design and that kind of wreathy, so it doesn't look like a traditional frog hopper, which is nice. Uh, I know I said I'd share my thoughts about frog hopper being rethemed and kept in the land. It's nice to see it being rethemed, but I think a lot of people, with Peter Rabbit Hibbity Hop in CBB's land with the dueling um, family drop towers, I think people would have rather a new ride uh, instead of a rethemed frog hopper. The rethemed Galpers Carousel into the Royal Carousel, that is amazing. I love that carousel to bits. I loved it as a kid back when it was Cred Street. I have so many memories on that carousel when it was Cred Street. So I'm glad that that's staying. Uh, there are more surprises and twists along the way. So maybe we'll get an announcement for a live show in the theatre. Um, I know a lot of people have said, online have said they want like a Mr. Stink live or like a David William or like a, a show where all the books come together to stop something so something brings the books together and the main characters together and they sort of go on an adventure together as like a collective unit it's some kind of live show inside the theatre because we can pretty much assume Gangster Grand is going to be in the form of Wobble World Bully because that has had the most construction since this was announced so um, obviously if you didn't know already Wobble World was a, a play area Opened in 2009, replaced the old Cred Street playground when it was Cloud Cuckoo, when they transformed it into Cloud Cuckoo Land for 2009. 
Um, obviously that playground has had a bit of history as well with the Tweenies coming in in the past and Barney when the area was Cred Street. Uh, so they brought in the new interactive, uh, the new interactive play equipment uh, into Wobble World, and then of course 26, 2015, 2016, the ride closed for Towers Living Care program, uh, never reopened. The building was used for Scarefest more recently with House of Monsters for a couple of years. That had some really rave reviews. Now of course we had Darkest Depths, the new family maze because House of Monsters wasn't returning for last year's Scarefest in 2019. Uh, and Darkest Depths was a highly rated maze, so I can't wait to try it if it's going to come back for Scarefest this year um, in 2020 for the 40th anniversary of Alton Towers. That's another big thing as well, it's the 40th anniversary of the park this year. Uh, so I think it's it's inevitable that I'd go out for the first day of the season because they're going to put so many great events on this year. Alton Towers is definitely going to be a park that I'm going to visit or try and visit a lot this year. Um, but they're going to be putting lots of special events on, I assume, with the new logo. I hope you guys love the new logo. It looks fantastic with the 40 years. Kind of gives me vibes of the old Two Swords logo as well. Um, but yeah, going back to the whole World of David Williams area, like I said, I think Frog Copper rethemed is great. Artistic design, fantastic. A lot of people in the community will probably want a different ride instead. Like I said, new theatre show. If there is going to be a new theatre show, there is more surprises to Twistle on the way. They're going to get announced in the future, so... Hopefully we get more information on more stuff coming to this area. Obviously we need to learn the fate of the driving school, what's going to happen with that. So I think that'll be the next press release, Alton Towers release about this. The, the, the fate of the theatre and um, the driving school. But of course one site next to the theatre that we don't know the future of is the Toadstool site. You know, are we going to see a family flat ride themed to a David Williams book come into that area? Uh, like a like an air race or a skyfly or even a even one of those curved Zampella discos uh, that would be a cool ride. Um, obviously, some, obviously the sister park uh, Chessington World of Adventures has got that with Cobra with the airtime hill. But I think with space, I would personally prefer uh, like a normal curved one, like Navigator at Flamingo Land, uh, Rumba Zumba at Adventure Island in South End. Um, you know, just the normal curve one, and I think that would be the perfect fit, just for the fact that uh, it's it's perfect for the family market. Obviously, me is riding adventure in the Heart Lake City area of Legoland Windsor. That's one that you got to look out for as well. Uh, so hopefully, we'll get a new press release, to sort of decide the future of the other two attractions existing in the area, uh, and of course, the, if what's going to happen with Toadstool site, are we going to see a phase two in 2021 as part of the 2021 investments? You know, is that going to be what's going to happen? Are we, going to, are we just going to see a rethemed driving school and then put a new theatre show in and then maybe the Toadstool site is a 2021 Phase 2 to the area uh, to make it a more complete area? Because at the minute it is a complete area, but I think the Toadstool site is just that final piece of the puzzle, uh, in my personal opinion. So, we don't know. We'll have to see if they make another press release soon uh, in the next several weeks about what's going to happen with all that. So, But for now... I'm, ha I'm happy. I'm kind of happy deep down the Frog Hopper stay in. I know Peter Abbott Hildy Hopper has made Frog Hopper, you know, obsolete in different ways, and it's the foul nail in the coffin. But I feel like Frog Hopper staying is a historic point of view because Frog Hopper's seen a lot of years at this park, and I feel like it was deep down. Even though I wanted a completely new ride, I feel like deep down it was inevitable that Frog Hopper stays for the 40th anniversary because it was a historic part of the park, and I think with the re-theme coming in. Uh, to Roger's Bouncy Bottom Burp, I feel like that's a historic move. It's a, it's a historic move. And of course, people that, you know, haven't rode Peter Rabbit Hibbity Harp, you know, they can just go on the historic Frog Hopper. And I feel like, you know, it's it's going to be better. I feel, I feel like Frog Hopper is going to be better this year than last year just for the fact that 40th anniversary of the park, historic touch, keeping it at the park along with the gallopers and. Uh, and of course the re-theme to Wobble World into this new dart ride. Um, so overall then, I'm happy. I'm really, really happy with the announcement of Gangster Granny the Ride, the World of David Williams. Um, it, it's pretty much a simple re-theme to Cloud Cookie Land, but with the added new dart ride, this brand new sensory experience, this brand new interactive dart ride experience in the Wobble World House of Monsters building. Uh, combining the two, the Scare Maze and the old Wobble World building together to create this massive building. The queuing area from the looks of the plans looks to be uh, 
could be a similar type of queue to House of Monsters. Not really queuing up on Fountain Square as much, but it feels like a bit of a zigzag outdoors and then indoors you've got the queue inside. So overall, I'm just really excited about this. I cannot wait for the opening day of the season to try, and try this out if it is going to open on the first day of the season. So thank you very much for watching this theme park news from update from the world of David Williams and Gangster Granny The Ride. Please comment your thoughts and theories down below. What do you think about the whole area, Gangster Granny The Ride? What do you want to see? Uh, if they are going to release another press release about what's going to happen. What do you think about the Gangster Granny rooms? If you look on the website, there's a con like a concept art of what the area will look like and the whole hotel rooms will look like. There's about one to four Gangster Granny rooms. So... Again, they look fantastic. I've seen them on the website, they look fantastic. Again, if you want to see the website for more information and also uh, where you can book hotel tickets and save 20% off before January 31st, click the link in the description down below. You'll see the link in there. Also down there in the description, make sure you go and follow my Instagram at Aaron Chandler Official. The link is in the description down below again. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The link's in the description down below, but you can also subscribe by hitting the subscribe button. Click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Please like the video if you've loved it. And for now, guys, I'm Aaron Chandler. You've been watching another theme park newsroom update here on Coaster Chow. Kill on the Coaster Life, and I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.